set on these three. Right? This is the, the these three they involve the case where B is equal to 1, which is the simplest case. Okay? If B is equal to 1, that's the easiest case. But B, sometimes B can be more than 1. And B can also be a common fraction. Okay? So these three general equations, they incorporate all three transformations. Vertical shift, period shift, horizontal shift. But today's lesson is going to be more on horizontal shift because I've discussed the other two already. Right? Those are like the general formula for... Yeah, that's, those are the general formula which incorporate all three transformations. Okay? Here, these, 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 these three cases, they incorporate two transformations, right? You know, mainly two transformations. And there is one. Because when B is equal to one, it's only one transformation. Okay? When B is equal to one, then you have one transformation. So this is only for one transformation you should test out, which is going to be sort of horizontal shift. But the other three equations now, they incorporate what? All three. All right, let's start with uh, uh, the sketching now. So yesterday I sketched this graph, like this one, that was f of x equal to sine x minus 30 degrees. Now, I want you to know that sometimes the horizontal shift, okay, it can be a small number like 20 degrees, it can be 15 degrees, all right? But that's very much possible. But before I carry on, I just wanted to show you the computer uh, how this will come out. Right, just wanted to show you. So, what I was saying is, when you are shifting the three graphs in grade 11, when you come to horizontal shift, you need to know what is being shifted. You need to identify what's being shifted. So, for this equation, f of x equal to sine x minus 30 degrees, the graph that's being shifted by 30 degrees to the right is y equal to sine x. The reason because the value of b is the 1, so this is straightforward. Okay, b will be equal to 1. Remember, b is the coefficient of x, that's the period number. So b is equal to 1. The amplitude is going to be a 1 here, so that, that's straightforward. So we only have one transformation there, which is horizontal shift by 30 degrees to the right. All right? Now, if I show you with the, with the computer, so I've got my first graph. Okay, please allow me to write this f of x for now. I'm going to write the one which we have. I'll call it g of x. Please take note here. The one that we have on, the, uh, on, on my scrapbook. Right? It's f of x. But on my graph, I'm going to call it g of x. Right? Okay, but I think let me change that because someone might interpret me in a wrong way. I'm worried about that. So let me change that. Let me call it y equal to sine x. Okay, because I don't want someone to interpret me in a wrong way. Right, so that's the graph. See, the computer changes it to, to f of x. So I, there's nothing I can do there. I have to leave as it is. But be aware that this f of x here is not the same as the one that I have on my square book there. So I'm going to call the one which we have there, I'll call it g of x. Right? So that will be sine, right? Open bracket x. Then I'll put my degree sign. Right, we are only moving it by 30 degrees. I want you to see the, the, the difference. Right, so this is what you will see after the transformation. Right? Uh, the black one, that's the basic graph of sine, okay, which is y equal to sine x. The red one, that's the one after a horizontal shift by 30 degrees. Now, how can you know that there is a shift by 30 degrees? So what you do is you go to say to the graph y of sine x, you compare this point here, 
where it is now for the draft of y is equal to. So let me check if I put it correctly here. Right. Okay, so the, the red one, that's the one for y equal to sine, uh, sine x minus 30 degrees. Right. Now, if you look at it carefully, uh, let me just... Okay, we've got zero degrees here. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Why? Why is my computer not sketching it properly? Okay, let me let me start a fresh. Right, I'm sure you can see that the horizontal shift now. This is how you can see it. If you look at this point here, it has moved 30 degrees to that point, right? So here y was equal to zero, but now y is equal to a half, which is what I also have here, right? Y initially, I'm talking about y for the original basic graph, y equal to sine x. It was at y equal to zero, which you can see here. After the horizontal shift to the right by 30 degrees, the point, you see, the point equals somewhere here, it has moved to this point by 10 degrees. But the y value remains, remains what? The same. It doesn't change. Yes. So why does the graph shift to the right and you subtract it to the south? Okay. okay. It has to do with, you see, if you do a table of values, right? if you do a table of values, right? If you do a table of values, like the one with values, unfortunately, this is the made a mistake, but when you do a table of values, we are saying x is being subtracted. So you are subtracting 30 degrees from, from x. Right? Now, the basic idea, it has to do with where is the new graph going to be. If the new graph, as compared to the basic graph, if the basic graph is going to be to the left of it, then it means there is a leg. Right? Because of that leg now, when I say leg, I'm referring to LAG. Okay, you see the original graph is now behind the new graph. Okay. Therefore, that's considered as negative. Then the new graph after so, uh, the new graph after after the transformation is to the right. That's also considered what as a as, as transformation or horizontal shift to the right. So either you can consider in terms of the basic graph or the new graph after transformation. Let's say if the, the green one was to the left, right, and the original one was to the right, then it becomes what? Positive. Right. So this negative here, if you don't have to interpret it in terms of subtracting the 30 degrees from x, no. It, it has to do with movement in terms of position. Where is the original graph? Is it to the left or to the right of the original one? Right? So here, our original one is y equals sine x. But after transforming it by 30 degrees horizontally, okay, the new one now will end up being on the right hand side. Therefore, since the original is on the left, then we consider that as a minus. It's more like it's, it's lagging behind. So if I add, the good thing is I can add a third one here. Right, I can put h of x. Um, yes, I can also do tan. Right, 
So h of x equal to sine. Let me put a positive and then you can see. So if I put my positive x, right, let's put a plus 30. Then I have to put the degree sign. Right, you see that the red one is to the left of the original one. Remember, when you are dealing with all the trig graphs, always remember that they are based on the original graphs of sine and cos that we were taught last year. Okay? So the black one, that's the basic graph of, of sine, y equal to sine x. The green one is after a horizontal shift by 30 degrees to the right. But if you compare the black one and the green one, both the black one is to the left, that's a minus. If you compare the red one with the black one, the, the red one is now what? To the right. Therefore, that's considered to be uh, more like we are saying the new one, which is the red one, is now lagging behind. It is to the left. Therefore, we put a what? A plus. The plus has to do with position. If the, if, the, if the one after transformation is to the right, that's negative. If it's to the left, that's considered as positive. Yes? Do you have a question? Okay. All right. No uh, chance. Did you do transformations in grade nine? All right. When you are doing transformation, remember something has to be transformed. So when you are dealing with graphs, if you are talking about horizontal shift. The question, the first question which must come into your head is what's being shifted? Right? So, can you stop that? Right. So, here, I'm saying if your graph is this one here, right? You're talking about f of x equal to sine x minus 30 degrees, like that. Right? The question will be what graph is being shifted by 30 degrees to the right? You need to, to be aware of that. The graph that has been shifted, you just drop that minus 30 to the y equal to what? Sin x. Do you know how to sketch y equal to sin x? You should. Okay? You sketch it, the black one. If you sketch the one after its transformation by 30 degrees to, to the right, okay? It's going to be the green one. Then the question was, why do you put a minus? The main reason is to do with position. If the original graph, that is the basic one, is to the left, then you put a minus. If the original graph is to the right, you see that if I compare the black one and the red one, the, the black one is now to the right. That's transformation to the left. And we consider that as a positive. All right, all right, let me carry on now. Let me carry on.